Hello friends, today we are going to see how to print root to leaf paths in a binary tree. So let's see an example. So this is the binary tree and in this binary tree the root is A and the root to leaf path is first path is A, B, D. Then the second path is A, B, E, H. Then third path is A, B, E, I, J. Again A, B, E, I, K. Similarly here A, C, F and ACGM. Yes, these are the root to leaf paths. Now let's see how to print these root to leaf paths with a program. So for our program we are going to use in order traversal of the binary tree plus this stack. By using these two we are going to print all the root to leaf paths. Let's see how to do this. So for printing root to leaf paths, first of all we should know in order traversal of the binary tree and the code for that. So as you know in my previous videos I have already explained the in order traversal. I will mention the link in the description of that video. But again I will quickly revise. So as you know these are the three steps for in order traversal. First step is to look at left subtree then print the root and then third step is to look at right subtree. These are the three steps and I will explain you now. <clears throat> so at each node we are going to perform these three steps and whenever we encounter null we are going to return. Remember this is a recursive function. Now let's, let's do it. So at every node we are going to do these three things. These three steps. I will just mark the steps at every node. So now I will just explain you with some of the nodes. So Yes, we are at the root. So the first step is check the left side. First step is call recursive function in order again by passing the left subtree that is the left node. So we will pass the left node to, to this function. So if A is the root, what is the left node? B is the left node. So B will come as a parameter and root variable will, will point to B. So now let's go here. So we have come to left. Again at this node. So at this node the first step is there. Here the first step is over. I will just underline the steps which are over. So first step of this node is go to the left. First step of this node is go to the left. But the left is null here. So we return and we will check here how many steps are over only one step. So second step now we will go for second step. Second step is to print that node. Second step is to print that node. So we will print this D and then we will go to the third step. So third step is to go to the right. So right is null so we have already come back. Now after all the three steps are over, we go, we return to the parent node. All the steps are over, we return to the parent node. We come out of the function. So, when we come out of the function, here, we come to the parent node of D. And here, again, we check the number. So first is over, second is printing and third is checking the right subtree. 
so this is how we do in order traversal if you see my previous videos you will understand it better so in this you just check one thing that if you want to print this path a b d so whenever you are visiting this node a just put that node into the stack a then we came to the left side that is b then we came to the left side so that is d and d is a leaf node so if d is a leaf node then just print this stack yes so this is what is the meaning so this printing the root data i will replace this So here is that blank line which we have to fill now and this is one other blank for the push operation in the stack. So whenever we visit the node just push the data of that node into the stack. Okay and at this step we have to check whether the node is a leaf node so whether root gives left is equal to equal to null and root points right is equal to equal to null if both left and right of the node are null then obviously that is a leaf node if such is the thing then we print the stack we print the stack we print this stack so if we print this stack from bottom then we get the first path a b d let's go ahead now see when we return from here and when we go to the right side obviously d is not necessary now because d has moved out of the path now we are in the path a b e because we have moved to the right side so a b e and whatever is further so we want the path to be in the stack is a b e so this d whenever we leave d whenever we leave a node whenever we go to the parent of a node we have to pop this node from the stack so in the code whenever we leave the node means whenever we come out of the function we have to pop so we pop d from the stack see I will make everything clean here so that you can understand. This is D. So whenever we leave D, we pop D. Yes. Now in the stack is A, B. We move, we check the third step. We move to the right and when we move to the right it is e so as we have visited the node we push e to the stack then first step is to check left we come to the left side with this first step come to the left side we have visited h so push h then left is null right is null yes this is the leaf node so print stack so we will print the stack a b e h is the stack now which is the one which is one of the root to leaf path again after left and right are null we go back to the parent whenever we go back from a node to its parent pop the node 
so we have popped it now for e check to the right side i is there check to the left side because the first step is to check to the left side so check to the left side so j is there push j now as j is the leaf node print the stack so a b e i j is the path now return to the parent so pop j check the right side as we have visited k write k so push k so this is an another path a b e i k a b e i k is an another path now go to the parent as we went from child to parent pop that child from stack for, for i all the three steps are over so go to the parent i'm sorry this is another node so go to the parent of i parent of i is e so as we went for from i to e we pop i because we went to the parent of i from i then e all the three steps are over go to the parent so we pop e for b all the three steps are over so go to the parent so we pop b at a only first step is over only the left is checked then the second step that is checking whether it is a leaf node it's not a leaf node then the third step go to the right side after we go to the right side push c as we have visited the node go to the left side of c the three steps go to the left side of c push f as that is the leaf node a c f is printed move out of f to its parent pop f go to the right side that's g push g into the stack left is null so go to the right side push m into the stack as m is leaf node that is our path a c g m a c g m is our path a c g m this is the final path and as all the nodes are traced now our function comes out to the main function so this is how we print root to leaf paths in binary tree and this is the program for that you can get the whole code on my link the link is i will write it here github dot com slash vivekananda 44 this is the link hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you